I wake up, midnight, surrounded by the sound of scattering cockroaches and downpour. You play guitar outside the hut under the overhang, taking cover for a few moments as the thunder erupts. I join you and we cower like the small creatures we are, along with lizard feet and the roosters cackling slowly in their sleep. We whisper, as if not to disturb what we would make the life or death of us. You tell me stories because I cannot sleep in English, Waskia, the island's indecisive speak. You tell me about the stashes of World War II weapons encased in cement blocks underneath the jungle. The Japanese buried them for next time, you said. Next time, and then there was no next time. Now the neighborhood boys crawl at night through the underbrush. Fears the occasional bore. They have just seen their first dollar in the market that day, and they want more. They want the personal plastic fan, marijuana, South Pacific lager. They dig through the downpour, the dark rush of night, into the concrete block, and up come the weapons, rusted but working. The revolution begins. You pause to ask me, when you come back, can you bring me a gun? To protect us, you say. I am afraid of my own son. If I were here to protect you, they would rob you shoeless in seconds. You say, I'm going to save you from the evil that you have created. You really said that to me. You called me evil with all the kindness you could muster, held my shoulder, and said, it's okay. I understand. So I sit in the team, silent, feeling more infectious than malaria, the fever flies dormant in my skin pigment. You ask me, what is this want? Jesus and concrete. Cell phone towers at the top of the volcano. Motor oil, Motorola, and memory. Production and produce faster boats to mainland. And families staying on their own land. Coconut plantations and overpopulation. You ask, what is this want? The metallic breeze. Air conditioners, or sweat, sweet, as the nighttime sleeps easy, you ask, is this heat so horrible? What is so wrong when papayas fall from trees a few steps away, when the spring offers itself to the tidal zone, where the fish open and close their mouth in the shallows? All this life just <coughs> offering itself up for us. What is this want? How soon we forget this simplicity, forget and forgo in favor of what? Steel skylines and smoke rings, planes that crash, medicines that kill, health care, <coughs> equal education, boats to mainland that do not sink, the beauty of cityscape and clean energy, our innovation, compassion, evolution, what is so wrong? Because the only difference between you and I is the time that it will take for us to die. And while you shake your fist at your final mountain spirits, revolting and left reveling your deep laugh, your final gasp, my death won't be so fast, but it also won't be so full. And as this rainy season deluges like Judgment Day, we don't know well whether we are going toward heaven or toward hell. Either way, you tell me, these spirits are ready for harvest. The rainy season begins suddenly, the eruption of the evening like Karkar Volcano activating. The lava like tongues, we can't resist the speak. We gravitate toward the churning core like moths that curl around our flame. Entranced by the heat and the light as you chant the night, Maski Karikain and Sels, Bekim Choklan Tumbanas, Ipera Noken Prosim, Dispera Abus, Wanhela, Wanha. Although all sorts of angels answer to our ancestors, we cannot be angry with the animals.